it uh, shows that my hard work has paid off um, in regards to the album, and I can't, uh, you know, the, the more mileage I get out of it, the more I need to thank everyone else who helped me along the way, Paul, Professor Paul Tonner from Cinevex, who's um, who produced the album and played alongside, as well as my fellow students, uh, Casey Thompson and Jared Fern. One, two, three, C. Tonight, um, my big night would be tonight, which is um, because there's the, it's, I'm playing at the ECMA Jazz Showcase, and at the, you know, the end after just about everyone has played, uh, they're going to announce the winner of the Jazz Recording of the Year, so it could be me or someone else there or someone not there. In the one hand, like, I don't think I would be nominated if I didn't have a chance, and on the other hand, uh, you know, it's a really, um, it could go either way because I know, I, I've heard of all the other nominees, uh, some of which, some of whom I've, I've seen play, and I know they're very good. Um, so, I mean, I very well could, or I very well could not, and whoever wins it will definitely deserve it, so. This is the first album I've written on music. Jamie wrote nine of the songs on the album for um, our first nomination. And it's our first nomination as a band. We didn't really expect to win. We're well known locally, but you know, in terms of Atlantic Canada uh, profile, we're not well known outside of our local area. So while we felt and that the music was good enough to win, we didn't think we were well known. We would have been surprised if we had one because we were not that well known. But I will tell you, listening to the music that was there made us realize that we definitely belong there. Because we're every bit as good as anybody that played. Except maybe for Curse and Devil's band. <laughs> it's probably one band I'd say was maybe better than us. So anyway, we're not disappointed by not, not winning an award. We're just so delighted to be nominated. The two nominations really cement our status, certainly locally. It's been a huge boost uh, to our profile in Eastern Nova Scotia, which is our main market. And we're delighted with that. Steam rolling down a window pane. Music to my ears when you speak my name. It's been good. It's been really busy. I've been playing uh, every day and then going to like workshops and panels and stuff like that during the, during the day and playing every evening, I should say. Um, so it's been busy but good, like meeting lots of uh, lots of cool industry people and playing to lots of new people. So it's good. <laughs> I've definitely learned a lot since going to St. Apex. Uh, it's definitely broadened my horizons musically. Um, yeah, definitely very inspiring being around such amazing musicians and learning so much about music. And uh, yeah, the profs are also supportive of, of me doing this kind of stuff as well. Like it is a jazz program, but but uh, they understand like when I have to go do songwriter gigs and stuff like that, and they're really really supportive of that aspect of my music as well. So it's been a great learning experience. It's been awesome. I mean, I, I, I did a little little bit of the ECMAs last year uh, when they were in Moncton. I had a, like a showcase at Plan B up there. And, but I kind of just went up for that and then and then went home and, you know, just to kind of get a little bit of experience. You know, I kind of walked around the, the central station. I think it was the Delta in, in uh, Moncton and, uh, you know, talked to a few people and stuff. But kind of limited myself just to kind of, that's the first experience of the ECMAs. I was pretty intimidated. I mean, you know, I've never you know, done anything like this before, so uh, this year I've, I've kind of stepped it up just a little bit and, and you know, gone to some of the conferences and, and I've been, you know, like talking to some agents and, and festival pro uh, producers and stuff like that, so I've, I've, I've had a great weekend so far, great. Uh, it, it was good, I mean, I mean, to be included amongst those guys is awesome, right? You know, to be to be nominated alongside Charlie Acorn is, is, you know, is pretty pretty big deal for me. I, I, I hold that pretty pretty high, you know, on a pedestal kind of thing, you know. Um, and, you know, for him to win both last night was, was awesome. I mean, I'm well deserved. He's been, he's been going for, you know, 10 or 12 years now. And, and it was good to see, you know, good to see hard work recognized. And, and you know, hopefully maybe I'll get to that point in a few years, you know.
I uh, spent the night last night with a bunch of family. Uh, they came down to, to you know to see the, the award presentation and stuff like that. And uh, my family, my wife and kids are going to be here today. And so uh, it's, it's been really good, really good. Basically, I mean, like I said, the first I was terrified to kind of you know be amongst all these people the first like last year, and uh, you know coming here this year and you know actually talking to people and you know. It, it, it's, it wasn't as bad as I made it out to be, that's for sure. But everybody's pretty nice there. I've had a great time.